everyone, Catch em All Collectibles here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the fact that you need to calm down. You just got to breathe. Breathe with me. Take it easy. There's a lot of noise in the hobby. I've made a video on that before. The best decisions that you will make in your life are ones that are cold, cool, calm, collected, measured, logical responses to things that affect you, that you can control, and the worst decisions that you will make in your life, you will make in the heat of the moment, very emotional, very just responsive, not calculated. So I'm going to make a video again today, another evergreen message that regardless of what's happening, whether it's CT scanning, whether it's pack weighing, whatever it is, whatever weekly news topic is just rampant in all the YouTuber messages. I, I don't know. I can't forecast it, but I've been here. I've been here for 10 years and it's been so many different things, yet we're still here. We're still here. I'm still here. We will still be here tomorrow. I am very bullish on the fact that cardboard, Pokemon specifically, Pokemon shiny cardboard will outlive me. I hope to live another 50 years. I'm, I'm mid 30s. I hope I have 50 years. Pokemon, I hope, has 100 plus. But I've made so many videos on being patient, being consistent, and worrying about the things that you can control that affect you, and just improving those things. So many things in YouTube, so many things in mass mainstream media, so many things just in everyday life will be centered around noise things that don't matter set your goals set your smart goals set your smart goals specific measurable achievable realistic time-based and do things each day when your head comes off the pillow every morning do things each day that will advance you towards those goals there will always be side quests there will always be things to distract you, things to take you away from that quest, that journey towards your goals. But don't get caught up in it. Don't get lost in the sauce. Don't don't get too riled up over that. So much emotion, so much, yeah, so, so many things. Like so much of what modern media relies on is just clickbait headlines that sow division. You, we, we've drawn a line in the sand. You need to choose your side and you need to battle it out all day, every day. You need to defend your position. Democrat, Republican, Christian, Muslim, uh, modern, vintage, PSA, CGC, BGS. Like, you really don't need to. You, you really don't need to choose a side. A lot of life lives in the gray area. A lot of life exists in the nuance. So yeah, today's video is just talking about the fact that everything is just, it has to be monetized. It has to be sensationalized. Ironic thing in the fact that this video will be monetized as I say that. But let me go to the, uh, the two screen. So one thing, if your smart goal is to retire someday, I have talked about many benefits that come from owning your own business. I've talked about many benefits of tax advantage buckets, yada, yada, all that, all that stuff that I talk about. My son just turned six recently. If you theoretically had a six year old and you started instead of a 529, instead of whatever different bucket, instead of whatever different account, you started putting a hundred dollars a month into a Roth IRA. If they were earning income in your business, whether it was in your business or whatever it is, $100 a month, historically speaking, for 50 years, from six years old, from five, six years old, to 55, 60, 55, 56 years old, 9% returns. Some people use seven, some people use 10. If you use 10, 3% uh, inflation, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Use your own numbers, do your own due diligence, all that stuff. But after 50 years, a million dollars. I mean, you can make the argument that, that okay, nine, nine is too high. It's going to be more like seven. If you want to take into account inflation, real returns, let's make it 60. Okay, okay, th this stupid calculator won't go to 60 years. I feel like the number would be, if I could go to 60, 
the number would likely be about a million every seven years you you double rule of 70 70 divided by seven you double every 10 years so it, it's at five hundred thousand at 50 years it would likely be at 10 years later uh, slightly over a million so you can make a million bucks if you open a Roth IRA for your child at six and put a hundred bucks a year, hundred bucks a year, it's like that. That's twenty percent of what it takes to to max out your own Roth IRA. That's I mean we can talk about avocado toast, we can talk about uh, 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 Starbucks lattes, things like that. But uh, that's just one avenue to grow wealth over a long, long time. Patience, consistency, all the things that I talk about. Whereas th there are all those things trying to lure you into getting rich quick, emotion, drama, click, click, now, division, divisiveness, all, all that stuff. Whereas I think the calm, cool, tried and true methods over the past 50, 100 years, like whatever you're doing in your business that's making you money, focus on that. Focus on things in your wheelhouse that you can control that affect you and iterate on them. Iterate on them. If you don't believe in this, that's fine, whatever. But there are so many sensational things out there that will try to steer you away from your goals. And uh, again, like I've, I've been in the S&P 500 for well over a decade. I'm quite young. I'm only 34. I've been in it since I've been about 20, maybe 19, 20, somewhere around 15 years. I believe in it. 50 plus year timeline. I believe Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Walmart, all these companies that we and I give money to every day, all day, all the time. I believe these things will be around. But when things fall 2% in a day, when things fall 5%, 5, 10% 5, in a week, when things fall 10, 20, 30% in a year, which is bound to happen on a long enough timeline over multiple decades, all the, all the emotion, all the drama, all the stuff will come out in the headlines. And you just need to tune it out. You just need to calm down. You just need to calm, cool, collected, rational. You need to turn off the emotion. The amount of times, and, and there are some great YouTube videos about this phenomenon. There, there are some YouTube videos that, that really cover this well. I mean, look, in a day we went up, in, in five days we went up 4%. In a month we're, we're pretty flat. But like, trust me, over this past year, every single day, there are thousands of articles, thousands of YouTube videos, thousands to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of hours of content explaining every perturbation, every little up, down, minuscule, whatever it is, every one of these drops, if you could zoom in and if you could magnify this, between March 28th, 2024 and April 19th, 2024, we dropped 5.46%. The amount of articles, the amount of things that were written out about that, zoom out, look at the bigger picture, look at all the green. Like the amount of articles, the amount of YouTube videos, the amount of things out there. I mean, look at this band. It was, it just happened. It was literally July 16th to August 5th we fell almost 10%, like intraday, depending on the stock, depending on what it was, this is the S&P 500, maybe the Dow dropped more. We dropped like 10%. I, I think that gets into correction territory. The amount of noise though, the amount of noise, fundamentally, did any of these things change? And if you wanna get into cardboard, if you wanna get stocks, crypto, whatever you're in, just look at the big picture, zoom out. What time frame are your goals based upon? what like what is actually happening what does it actually mean the amount of money that is lost by people dancing in and out of the market buying high because oh look we've been up all this time uh and then this little drop and people buy high sell low like that's just the human condition that's the way things go all this time up and up and up and up and then down and people just get so we're headed down 30 40 percent 2008 2000 uh, Black Monday, all these different things that people do every time this stuff happens. It's like draw, draw back out, draw your your predictions on a longer time frame, and calm down. Take a take take a deep breath. Daniel Tiger, when you feel so mad you want to roar, take a deep breath and count to four. PBS kids, we don't have cable, 
We watch a lot of PBS Kids, things that come over the air. Like, I mean, that that is a tried and true. That is an evergreen statement that you just need to live by. Uh, calm down. Take some breaths. The amount of all the red, all the green, all the flashy different things. I have some consigners that are very big into crypto. I own some crypto myself. The amount of red, the amount of green, all these different things. Again, every spike intraday, every single thing is commented on from every angle, every different side. And a lot of times over time, uh, one thing that that uh, people will frequently say in, in the finance space, a lot of times equities, different markets, they'll take stairs up, stairs up fairly slowly, fairly, and they'll take elevators down. So naturally, when things go down, they can and will go down quicker. I mean, in, in 2020 Pokemon, to be fair, we did have $1,000 EV, $6,000, $8,000 PSA 9, PSA Unlimited Charizards. We, we, we might have gotten some elevators up, but generally speaking, you will deal with elevators down, quick downward motions, and you will deal with stairs up, slower, more, more, more progressive growth over, t- over time. And you just need to zoom out. You need to take into account the bigger picture. You need to decide if the analysis that you made back when you got into this, whether, whether that was um, a year ago, five years ago, whatever, whether it's the S&P 500, whether it's your favorite single on TCG Player, whatever it is, you just need to calm down zoom out and you need to take into account the broader picture and you need to ask yourself the question did anything fundamentally change do i no longer believe in this and yeah the fundamentals the fundamentals of investing the fundamentals of can i make a margin can i flip check out my previous videos on on how to make money in pokemon and calm down breathe we've got time it's not that big of a thing. Just, yeah. I, I don't know if that video makes any sense. It's an idea that I've had for a little bit, and I just finally decided to record it. But, yeah, that's my that's my thing. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below. I appreciate you all watching, and I will catch you all later.